Right, of course, today we're at uh, Southfield Reservoir, just having a bit of a recce session actually with Wayne Bartholomew. Wayne's, um, Wayne's backed by Champion Feed. Um, it, it's uh, a ground made company that's quite new to, quite new to the UK, um, but it's Wayne's very, very into his ground mates and it, it's, uh, it's a range that really interested him several months ago and he's been using them all summer and anybody what, what's uh, aware of match results all over the country um, may have seen a lot of Wayne's results this year. He's had a fantastic year last year and all through this winter he's been catching fish all winter and interestingly enough a lot of the fish he's been catching have been with the same mix. Now that's something that we don't really see so much these days. He's caught a lot on mixes that he's used all through the summer and they've been just as effective in winter. Um, He's using one of his favourite mixes today. What, what mix is it today when you're using? Right, I'm using today. I'm using the uh, the special G, the special G green, uh, which is a fish meal ground bait uh, and BT. Uh, and I'm using the the special P uh, pellet mix, which is a, a cereal sweet fish meal mix. Uh, but I like to put this through uh, a grinder uh, just to get it down a little bit, uh, get it down a little bit finer. And it creates a nice cloud. That. I think that, that they work, uh, they complement themselves quite well. Uh, this is the ground bait in its, in its mixed state. Is that its finished state? That's its finished state. I like to keep it dry, uh, I like to keep it dry uh, so I can knock it up as I go. Uh, if you have to put a plastic feeder on, it's always dry enough to put through a plastic feeder. If I need to wet it, I can wet it up and put it through a cage feeder. Got you, right. Create a cloud. But it's still working now. When did you mix that? Was that do, are you a fan of mixing it on the bank as soon as you get there or have you mixed that the night before? Right, if it's really fine like today, this has all been through a flower sieve to get everything out, all the food, everything is out of it uh, because obviously the temperatures today, it's freezing cold, I'm looking for one bite I don't want to be feeding them with ground bait uh, feeding very little, uh, very little loose feed in it uh, and I like to mix it up on the bank because it doesn't take much water when it's that fine, it doesn't take a lot of water uh, and it's ready to use in, in minutes it's, uh, it's good. Right, and that's the same mix you were using all through the summer all last year? All through the summer, yeah, I've used it everywhere I've been, I've used that mix. And when you say everywhere, I mean you fish a lot of rivers and lakes as yeah. well, yeah. you've used that on all different yeah. sorts of I've venues? I've used it on the tidal trend, uh, I've had some fantastic results this year on the tidal trend, I use it on the, on the, on the middle trend, all marsh areas like that, I use it on Carmel, I use it on Woodsboro, uh, everywhere I've been, that's little, little that uh, lends itself to fish meal ground baits, I've used it and it's worked brilliantly. Right, I mean a big issue, especially this time of year, is the actual colour of ground bait. A lot of people like to dark them down or choose darker mixes. Do you ever, have you always used that in the same, exact same state, the same colour or have you darkened? Yeah, as it is, I never darken it So down the colour that is now, you've used that the same colour today, you know, as clear as the water is today, it's yeah. just as effective. Yeah, I don't think, uh, if you darken ground baits down, for me, you attract. The, I think you attract the wrong fish. Right. You attract the, the fish that you attract the too small sometimes. And uh, because you get the, the old saying of the, the white bag and the canal, you never see a fish swim over it, uh, a little fish swim over it, you always see the big one swim over it, and that's, for me, that's the same thing. That's you something's know, very... You don't your ground bait off, you don't your ground bait off and you attract little fish which you don't want, which you don't want to be catching. Really. Right. Some people say, yeah, you need to get the little fish into your peg to, ca to catch the, you know, to bring the big fish in, but uh, sometimes it's not right, and it's proven this year, it's not been right for me. Uh, but this, this just seems to, just, it seems to be working. That's brilliant. I mean, there's a vast amount of ground baits out there, and and to find somebody who's getting results with what's relatively a very simple mix, an all year round mix is is fantastic. And uh, <laughs> there's no uh, there's no need to ask you what your confidence levels like with this sort of mix. So uh, it's, it's unbelievable. One, one tip I will give you: uh, in the winter time, I would sieve it, sieve everything out of it. Uh, Basically, so you've got all the you know all the all the coarse particles. I just take them out. I take them out in the summertime. Everything, apart from the, the special pre in the summertime, everything straight from the bag and mixed up straight away. But I will say, I mix, if it's summertime, I do mix it a couple of hours before because of the big particles in. I need them to soak. I need them to soak to get to sink. So the only feed that's out there for the fish to have is basically what you've introduced, i.e., any chop worm, anything. It's not actually within the mix itself. No, no, they can't eat it. it just, Brilliant. It goes straight through, straight through the gills. That's a great tip. Mm -hmm. Nice one, thanks for that, Wayne. No problem. Thank you.